hello my lovelies i hope you're all well so we have another brand that's um on the brink of boycott <laughs> rip curl makes huge damage control move after outright outraged aussies tried to cancel the iconic brand for using a trans woman to promote women surfing hmm interesting let's have a look shall we Australians are calling for a national boycott of iconic surf brand Rip Curl for using a transgender woman in their social media accounts as the brand moves to scrub any trace of the promotion. Rip Curl came under fire for using Western Australia's professional longboarder and transgender woman Sasha Lowison in a promotion for women surfing last week. Lowison 44 featured on the Rip Curl Women Instagram page on Thursday as part of the company's meet the local heroes of western australia campaign it comes just months after rip curl severed ties with pro surfer and shark attacker survivor bethany hamilton one of the world's most famous surfers reportedly over her opposition to transgender people competing in women's sports interesting so they have this lady lady surfer Bethany Hamilton, who is a shark attack survivor, <laughs> as well as a professional surfer. And she says that biological men shouldn't compete in women's sports and rip curl in a stunning and brave move, decide they're going to decide they're going to sever ties with her and, uh, you know, get rid of her contract or whatever. And then they're going to feature this trans woman surfer on the women surfing Instagram page instead. Interesting. The post featuring Lewison has since been deleted from the Rip Curl Woman Instagram page, but hundreds of Australians kept attacking the company on other posts across its social media platforms. And this is what happens. This is what happens. You've heard get woke, go broke so many times. And um, and this is, uh, this is what you get, you know, as a result. So the post featured the hashtags, hashtag go woke, go broke, hashtag save women's sports, hashtag stop replacing women and boycott rip curl with commentators, uh, commenters calling for Aussies to cut ties with the surf brand. Taking my money elsewhere, why do you hate women? One follower asked. Rip Curl was always one of my favourite brands in the industry. Bummer, I'll never spend another dime with them, posted another. Wow. <laughs> Male-bodied athletes should not be competing in female sports, period. So that was um, a post that Bethany Hamilton put up on January 29th. And then, um, uh, yeah, obviously Rip Curl severed ties with her. Uh, Rip Curl has not yet made a public statement about the removal of Lois's promotion. Daily Mail Australia has contacted Rip Curl for comment. Surfing, which will feature as a new sport at the Paris Olympics in 2024, adopted its International Surfing Association's policy for transgender participation in early 2023. This is what I don't understand about um, all the different sporting bodies, is that some of them have said, yes, we will allow... Uh, trans athletes to compete alongside women because it's, it never goes the other way you, you're not getting trans men saying they want to compete with men um, so it, it's only ever the biological males invading women's sports which is the issue um, so some sports like surfing for example weightlifting although I'm not sure that that's still in place but I know that they had a trans weightlifter in the Olympics um, so they've decided they're going to include trans athletes. And then you have other sports like swimming who have said no, because Leah Thomas is fighting a secret court battle um, to try and get that overturned so that he can compete um, in women's swimming in the Olympics. Uh, the policy is recognised by the Olympic Committee and states eligibility criteria applying to transgender, trans people and or people with sex variations must be evidence-based, 
rights respecting and de developed on a sport by sport basis. It states that surfers that were born as biological males must maintain set standards of testosterone levels continuously for 12 months to be eligible to compete in a women's event. But it's not just the testosterone, is it? And this is what some some sporting bodies are waking up to the fact that it's not just testosterone levels that um, that are relevant when it comes to fairness in sport. You know, we've always segregated the, the sexes in sport for a reason. Um, you know, men, typically speaking, are taller. They have more muscle. Their bones are bigger and thicker and denser. Um, and they just have general generally speaking, more strength and um, capability when it comes to sports, which is why most women don't want to compete against men. Um, <clears throat> Hamilton and fellow Aussie surfing legend Kelly Slater have previously called for a separate transgender division in the sport. Now, that is something that was done, I believe, with swimming. They did a separate division just for trans people. And funnily enough no one signed up. Hmm, perhaps it wasn't just about being included after all. Perhaps it was just about smashing some women's records. Uh, Hamilton also previously threatened to boycott the sport over its transgender policy. And this is what women are going to have to do. We're just going to have to stand up and say no. While many followers support her stance, she's also been labelled as a homophobe and transphobe on her Instagram account. Of course, because what else are they going to say? Last year, Lois and told Daily Mail Australia, she received support from top surfers that made me regain my faith in humanity. The current number six in the world, who I hadn't seen since before my transition, I paddled up to her and she saw me and said, look at you, you look amazing. And 2016 world champ Rachel Tiller came up and said hello and said, it's so good to see you here. I initially had a lot of t fears for my safety. But there were little things, little acts of kindness. Why would you fear for your safety? This, um, this narrative of, like, people attacking trans people... I don't really know where it comes from because if it were the case that all these trans people were getting attacked on like a daily basis knowing our mainstream media these stories would be everywhere wouldn't they you wouldn't be able to move for stories like this you know there's there's a reason we don't see them and there's also a reason you don't see the stories about women being attacked in in bathrooms and such by apparent trans people because it doesn't go with the narrative does it but anyway let me know your thoughts on this so I will you be boycotting rip curl I'm not a surfer so I never use their stuff anyway um, but yeah let me know what you think and I'll see you very soon